Right. Yo, it's my Marcus from Morsini back with another video. Today, we're just going to be talking about some stuff while we uh, watch some Armada Strike gameplay. New map out in COD right, Mobile. Identify. Why are they bringing this map back? No clue. It's no one is asking from a, for a Cold War map, if I'm being frank. Like, Cold War is not known for having the best maps. Like, it's got mid. Mid maps at best. Like, literally. Like, Miami Strike. Armada Strike. And Crossroads Strike are all the, like the smaller versions of their bigger, more garbage maps. Literally, that's how the, all those maps are. And they brought all those maps back in the COD Mobile. So, whatever, man. I don't know. Anyway, I kind of touch on what I was wanting to touch on. Uh, COD League. It's COD Champs. For anybody who's not aware of what COD Champs is, you live under... You don't really live under a rock because nobody really knows what COD Champs is that is in the COD scene. But uh, COD Champs is going on. Uh, as of right now, winners finals is New York Subliners and Toronto Ultra. That is going to be a very good series, man. New York has really been like kind of the best team all year. Kind of in totality, like in terms of placings. I think they've probably been like the best team. Because they've had two firsts and like a couple of top sixes. And then, you know, wherever they place it, champs, sort of. A couple of top fours. You know, a couple of top fours, a couple of top sixes, and whatever they're about to finish in this tournament, plus the two wins. I don't know. New York has looked really good, and they're continuing to look really good. Then you got uh, Toronto, who has been a solid team all year. They won an event, you know, they won Major 3, they beat Optic. Um, so they're, I mean, hey, they look really good right now. So wouldn't be surprised to see them beat NYSL. I think it's going to be a really good series. Obviously, for me, Hixie and Kleenex uh, versus Hydra and Kismet, that's kind of going to be that sub battle right there. That's going to decide the game. And i got to be honest, man, Hydra and Kismet look on another level. I don't know what it is about Kismet in this game, but he has been a difference maker, to say the least. Like, he has been a very, very... Helpful player for that New York team. Priesta, I don't really know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what Priesta's doing on the map, but I guess, you know, going 17 and 30 and still winning Hydro Hardpoint works for me. Hell, if I did that in every rent play game, I'd be fine. Um, that being said, Optic lost to New York uh, in a 3 1 fashion in an absolute nail biter Hydro Hardpoint. Which kind of is to be expected. That's how it goes for the Optic Boys. Almost every time they play Hydro Hardpoint, it is a nail biter. Uh, then you got FaZe. FaZe lost to Toronto. That's how they ended up in losers. So FaZe will be playing, I believe it's Boston. And Optic will be playing Seattle Surge. Um, I can't stand Boston, so I hope FaZe to be them in about 15 minutes. If that's even possible, um, sound equalization, abusing losers. And then uh, what's the other person? Oh, Seattle. Um, I like Mac, but I can't stand accuracy. So that's, I, you know, I'm an Optic fan. So obviously I'm rooting for Optic. And then, um, oh, man, so that's going to put Optic versus Phase for what, T4? For top four? Um, yeah, that's going to be... Who knows, man? This might be the first time that FaZe gets over the hump against Optic. I mean, Optic's had their number for a long time, and FaZe has never placed lower than second place at Champs. Meaning, uh, Simpin' and Beezy, since E United and Black Ops 4, they've come in first, second, first, and second at every single Champs. So, I gotta be honest, uh, it would not surprise me at all. I still haven't picked to go to the, at least make it to the championship. I, it would not surprise me at all if they win it. Hell, I would pick them to win it right now. They may not look like the best team, but I would pick them right now to win it. I, I would be fine with that. Um, Abizi has been one of the best players in this game all the way through. It's really on Simp. Has, can Simp step up for one tournament and just play at the level we all know that Simp can play at? Or at least at Abizi level? Because, I mean, we... I mean... Simp's always gotten more credit than ABZ. I think we can give him. I think that's pretty fair. But um, ABZ has one more tournament win because ABZ was around before Simp was. But uh, those two guys, man, they've been disgusting pretty much from the start. So I definitely think 
Hell, I'd be, I wouldn't be surprised if they win the whole thing. Make it three rings in five years and catch up to uh, Deem and Karma Barlow and tie his record. Which is not... I mean, that's pretty much nobody's ever going to tie that. If they don't tie it here, who's going to tie it? Like, I don't really see who's doing it. There's nobody else that's really had any dominance, especially in form of champs. Like, E United in Black Ops 4... They were pretty much, they had a light bracket. If we can be honest, they had a light bracket in BO4 champs. But, um, like, they didn't really have comp until they hit Optic in winner's finals. But, um, and then they were just overall dominant at Cold War as a whole. Um, yeah, so I wouldn't surprise me if FaZe made it through. Toronto and NYSL tomorrow, that's going to be a good game. Uh, I'm interested to see how that works out. I could definitely see that going map five, if I'm being honest. I could see New York taking both hard points and then uh, Toronto taking probably the control in the S&D and then it going down to a game five. Uh, round 11, maybe. Who knows? But that could be a really good series. So definitely a big slate of matches for tomorrow because there's only one match. I think finals is the only thing on Sunday. There is no losers finals. Which is kind of cheese. I would rather see it, I think, losers finals. But it makes sense. That way both teams have a fair uh, advantage going into the uh, final match of the season for the championship. So with that being said, as you guys saw in the gameplay, I didn't even like, cover it at all. But here's the gun, the FAR. I have no good class setup for it other than the one I showed a couple of videos back. I just kind of was like throwing shit on seeing how it looked. So that's what y'all got out of me. The gameplay is kind of like just whatever my commentary is more about like what this COD League stuff and what's going on with that. With that being said, though, guys, that's my take on the first two days of COD Champs. I hope y'all leave your comments down below if you're watching and if you're not, uh, whatever. So thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. See y'all in the next video. Peace.